We just left White River kayaking and we're heading down Turkey Creek right now into Lake Tenicomo. And apparently there are a lot of birds, river otters, mink. I've never seen mink in the wild. And maybe a bald eagle. But they're hard. Oh, possible bald eagles eating. And there's a pigeon. No. <laughs> we're gonna go under a bridge now. We're going on a shorter paddle today because there's rain coming in the afternoon storms. But it's beautiful now. It's not too sunny. It's not too hot or too cold. It's lovely. Now kids, don't look up and open your mouths because she's gotten pooped on twice today. You know what? I might do what she does and go like Ava did and, and go like this. That way I won't get pooped on. Look at all the birds underneath the bridge. They're like building nests underneath the bridges. They're like going flocking like crazy. You can see river otters here. Not as much in this waterway as two others she told us. And I would love to see some river otters in the wild. I've seen them like far away. It'd be nice to be like up close and see them like playing and fishing and that kind of stuff. It's a really beautiful, like non currenty river. It's very, uh, Slow flowing and flat. Anybody can do this. thing about going out this time of year in you know early May spring is the babies there's lots of birds and really I see some ducks up ahead and I'm wondering if they have little babies they may not it may still be a little too early but if they did that would be so fun to see there's definitely geese and ducks so far we've seen turtles one's just hanging out on a rock waiting for the sun to come out look at the ducks girl Babies or not yet? Three ducks. Those are geese. Brown geese. Those right over there are ducks. Is that a snake? That is a snake. Where? Right there. Where? Right to your left. Its little head is popping out of the water. We saw an itty bitty snake swimming in the water, and I'm glad it's swimming away. because all snakes look dangerous when you don't know them really well. <laughs> look at the geese, this is so peaceful. I like this. <gasps> Tom, the baby goose thing. What do you think? Look at the little goose things, look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Oh. Stay perfectly still. <gasps> we don't want to scare them. Oh my goodness. They're adorable. So what was your favorite, Ava? Turtle snake. Yeah, the turtle snake and the baby geese. How about you, Elizabeth? Do you have a favorite, honey? Baby geese. The baby geese, they're really cute. They're so yellow and fluffy, huh? And it was gonna rain and it's clearing up. Still cloudy, but like the sun's trying to break through. I think it'd be hot if it was out. They're having like record breaking highs here, like hitting 90. Hopefully we can see a bald eagle. So we have to look up into the skies, but also down because we saw snakes slithering in the water. So the overall plan 
we got to turn right here because I do want to check out those two waterways before it gets too busy. So the plan is that we start at Turkey Creek. You go down the little waterway, which is what we just did. You turn right and then you go under this giant bridge, which is kind of fun. And then you go to Raccoon Creek, she said, and Rourke Creek. And then you end up going the rest of the way to a place just past Tanglewood. I've got all sorts of goodies today. I brought the snacks. We want really, really quietness because I really want to see some like, oh, mink are really hard to see because apparently they blend in and stay very, very still. Like that's their defense is they just stay still and they blend in with the background and they're tinier than river otters. It's like mixing a ferret and a groundhog apparently, but they're, they're not huge. So I'm hoping to see some bald eagles. Highly unlikely, but it is possible because they, they do see them on these rivers. They hunt down the bottom section of the river. Apparently the, the eagles nest are up at the top, top end of the river. We would have done the longer trip, but we just decided to do the shorter trip because of weather today. We are having a great day. Our grandma and grandpa aren't coming with us though, but yeah. grandma and grandpa, I hope you have a fun time at home. All by yourself. <laughs> itty bitty these are absolutely not gonna be anything girls just stay still go with the waves Wee. Wee. oh that was it <laughs> fishing boats have the smallest wakes overall so you don't really have to worry about flipping over and he sped up to a good speed where the waves were really tiny if you fully plane off the boat, the waves are a little tinier than when you're hitting the water like this. So up ahead now, just a little ways up ahead, is Raccoon Creek, I think it's called. Let me see. You know. Whoops. I'm not looking at the map correctly. Okay. Yes, Raccoon Creek is up ahead. Look, that looks like a restaurant on the water. That's kind of cool. It looks like it's literally floating on the water. Now that's, that's fun. And um, if you come here, please, please try to have fun. And please look at the beautiful views. The the views are gorgeous. I'm trying to sweep the scum from the bridge. Um, and if you have kids, kids have to have their life preservers on and adults don't have to. There are gonna be some turtles here and some river otters, which I'm trying to find. <gasps> wait, wait, is that a river otter or is it a stick? Oh, a log. Or it's a river otter. Bird right there. A different kind of bird. Oh, we're getting close to the creek. It's right up ahead on the right, I think, right? We'll see what we find in there. We just went by a goose until we got like right up to it almost. It didn't even wake up. So we're trying to be really quiet. You see turtles down in the water and tons of fish swimming around. I like it back here a lot. It's really pretty. Like really pretty.
we see a bald eagle? We were hoping to see one. I really wanted to see otters, but eagles are right up there with it. And we see a bald eagle. It is so pretty. We were just about to paddle to the other side of the river so we could check out one of the other backwater waves. And it was just sitting up there. And we're like, is that a turkey vulture or an eagle? And as we got closer, it was like, no, it's definitely an eagle. Oh, it's so cool. It's looking down at us too right now. He's like, what in the world? One of the big things we really wanted to see. They're usually more prevalent over upriver a little bit. And so we thought, uh, we're probably not gonna see one, but we'll keep a lookout. We're like right under it right now. What did you see? We saw a bald eagle, it's still there. I am so excited. I said the Pledge of Allegiance already. I I can't believe it. I'm gonna tell it to my grandma and grandpa. This is the best day ever. I saw white in the face and I was like, oh my gosh, is that? Yeah. Yes. No way. We saw a bald eagle. I think that's what Tom wanted to most see. He wanted to see it when we went on Cherokee Lake. Really bad. But at least we saw it today. We're only the third of the way through this trip and we have like an hour left to get back <laughs> but we're good paddlers so i mean i'm not worried that we'll get there in time but no the first time my entire life seriously that's his first time seeing a bald eagle how about you girls you got to experience it with daddy for the first time and you got to see it fly did you see how beautiful? mama there's that there's there was the ducks flying too. The ducks were flying too, so it was just a big flying fest for all the birds. Yeah. They were having a bird party. Turkey vulture should have came. He's flying that way. She asked what now, the honey. next snack is. I am glad we got that lens. It was worth every penny now. <laughs> yeah, you know, we bit the bullet and got the white lens for a camera because you need to be able to see things far away. Like that moose shot that we got in Colorado would have been so much more epic awesome, right? if we had the white lens. And we're like, we just gotta do that. And I'm glad we did because now we've been able to get shots of like the bald eagle and anything in the future that we see. Onward and outwards, we're gonna try to like paddle hard because there's one or yeah. more waterway we want to go I down and we have to get across the waterway. It's not super busy today, thankfully. And the boats seem to all be very respectful of everybody in canoes because they can flip, so they've been really good. So I'm gonna put this down so I can help paddle and not be lazy. <laughs> Roar Creek, we've decided not to go up because the wind is starting to blow from that direction pretty hard. And because we took so much time with the bald eagle, <laughs> sitting there and filming it for like 20 minutes, we wanna get back in time to, for the pickup at 11.30 because we only have like maybe 40 minutes to get there. I, that literally made my dream come true. Really? Uh, yeah, because the, the almost dropped my watch again. Oh, bad. We're yeah, we're not gonna get it trip. back this time. <laughs> this is 25 feet deep. I'm not getting the watch back this time. But um, yeah, I man, that's the one thing I wanted to get on film since like I got that camera lens. I wanted to get a film of bald eagle. That, that really just made my day. Even in the beginning, I, I said it's, that's the one thing I want to see. I don't know if we're gonna see it, but that was awesome. Can you believe that? Have you ever seen a goose before? Yeah. Oh my gosh. He's not even moving. He's completely. Can you imagine? <laughs> Goose is the United States. 
state symbol of our country. Of gooseys. Did you know that? <clears throat> That's why they call them Canadian goose. Geese, goose. Geese. Geese. <laughs> <laughs> It's never been my friend on a trip. It's always like held me back. This is the first time the wind is coming from behind and literally pushing us down the river. It's lovely. <laughs> so I'm glad we're not fighting upstream or upwind today. We saw some more little baby geese. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled just in case we see another bald eagle or something. We're pretty much just gonna paddle back. You guys don't believe it. Don't believe it. What? Another bald eagle. Where? 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 The second oh, bald eagle. No I can't get a steady eagle. shot. We're on the water. Is it that one? We saw a second bald eagle, but because of the wind pushing us, I can't paddle backwards for him to be able to film. We tried. And now there's waves and there's some like more boats and stuff, so it's just not possible. We saw two. Eagles. Oh wow. I gotta write this in my journal. Wow. Yeah. The second one we didn't get to see as long, right? Oh. Yeah, that's nice. I don't have a journal. Yeah. Woo, we Come to think of it, we were lucky because when where we stopped to see that bald Wait, eagle. I actually do have a journal. Where we stopped to see the bald eagle is a tiny little island patch of sand, so I could stop that I stop there to actually film it. Like here, Woo. no way. This is this Camera's just rocking all over the place. And, <laughs> yeah, we're just, There's a lot of waves. Kind of see me right now, I'm just flopping all over the place with the waves. And... Chips. Around the bend, down the lane a little bit, and I think we'll definitely make our making point with her at the correct time, 11.30. We keep stopping. We keep seeing things. There's so much wildlife here. The most thing I always want to see is the wild... Um, Monkeys. <laughs> no. Otters? Yeah. Yeah, Wild otters. otters. Yeah. yeah, you know what? We'll have plenty more chances. We have otters near our house, right? Yeah, this seems like a big birding trip. We've seen like many species of birds. Another nice boater who slowed down for us because they saw we had kids and a canoe and they slowed down so that we wouldn't have big waves. We've had like six people do that. They've all slowed down or like gone a perfect speed that there's hardly any weight for us. It's like the nicest thing. They're so sweet here. Well, for, for this trip, we're gonna leave all the, the information in the description below. So if you'd like to take this trip to your family, just look at, look at all the insuma information. We try to leave all the information on our trips for everybody. Just look down at the bottom. They have three main paddles right now. So they have one that just leaves from the location. You just go the little waterways. It's kind of good for beginners or if you have little littles. They have one that takes you down and you have two and a half hours. You leave from there and they pick you up. And then they have one that takes you upstream. So they take you up and then you paddle down and end at their location. So they do have options where they'll pick you up and drop you off, which is awesome when you don't have somebody to help you or two sets of cars and stuff which obviously we don't because we're on vacation. And I see, she said it's like green with red. She said it was very well marked. Yeah, everything's really well marked. They, they like the map is easy to read. I'm really glad we didn't go up that one waterway and fight the, the wind because I think we would have gotten back bait. So glad we didn't have to fight the wind. Huh? All right. Going in there? Yeah, go on in, Ava. Go on first. I'll go second, and Elizabeth, you'll go next to me. Hi. 